This week we're at the Dimension Data Pro-Am here in George in South Africa. Now this is played across three courses here at Fancourt, which poses some interesting challenges for us caddies. Because there are three courses to study, we only have a limited amount of time to do what we would usually do in the three practice days. First thing on Monday, we played 18 holes at one of the golf courses. The decision was then made on the Tuesday and the Wednesday to just play nine holes and allow me, the caddy, to walk the other nine holes so that the player had the full information when he needs it on tournament day. Once I've finished walking the back nine today that we played the front nine of this morning, I will head over to the Lynx course later and have a look at that in different weather conditions. So the three courses you can see here, we have the Lynx, which is dotted in those dunes over there. You can see the pot bunkers to the right and then the other two courses sit on the Fancourt estate to the left here underneath the stunning mountains in George. So with the players only playing the Lynx course once it's the caddy's job to go and find where the pin will be for that day and gather as much information as possible. During the practice days you'll usually see caddies and players chipping to tee pegs or little discs that we're provided with so that the guys can practice. So you'll see players chip to the front edge pin here, maybe a pin over tucked behind that bunker on the left hand side. And we're just trying to work out where the pins might be. Now the good thing about tournaments like this week is that the referees kindly put out red spots like this. So we know where the pin will be tomorrow in round one. And I can then pace off how many is behind this pin and also how much there is in front of the pin before that little slope there. This is where a player really needs to trust his caddy and the work he does. Come tournament day, there's a bunker in the middle of this fairway, a deep pot bunker at 250 meters. There it is. It's up to me to tell my player, as he hasn't seen the hole, whether or not the wind conditions allow him to hit driver over the bunker and leave a short approach, or just lay up before the bunker and before any trouble. This holds a great example here of why we do the extra work that's needed. The day one pin here is supposed to be eight paces on the front edge of this par five green here. It is easily reachable in two. Now, the book doesn't detail that this shaved area to the left here runs off quite steeply into the water. It's about five foot high. So the player who hasn't seen this hole will have this information because we, the caddies, have taken time to go and research all the little fine details here and tell him, you know, you can just err on the side of caution here and play to the right-hand side of the green or even just the front edge for an easy birdie. And once I've finished doing the two back nines today that we've not played this week, I'll compile all the information, send it on to my player so that he has an idea before he steps on the first tee of what he's facing and then We'll see how the week goes. Just a little bit of an offshoot here. These are the hardy dars or the ibis bird. These start chirping at about 4.30 in the morning and they're very, very noisy. Ah! As you can hear, there's your caddy alarm clock this week.